Hello guys, once again welcome back to my channel Mariner Shian. The topic of today's discussion is vapor pressure and cavity. We will be discussing about it in a much more practical and simple sense so that it will stay in our mind. So guys, before going on to the video, if you are new to this channel, you know what to do. First of all, we will be talking about vapor pressure and as the video unfolds, we will be talking about cavitation. So let's go. First is first, vapor pressure. As the name suggests, vapor of the fluid which exert pressure on the surface of the fluid is known as vapor pressure. As the temperature increases, the vapor pressure of the fluid is also going to increase. As we all know, pressure and temperature are directly proportional to each other. The molecules present in the fluid will gain energy as the temperature increases. So, the molecule will try to escape from the surface of the fluid. As it escapes from the surface of the fluid, the molecule will exert pressure on the surface of the fluid as the pressure that is the vapor pressure of the fluid increases as temperature increases. As we have already discussed, pressure and temperature are directly proportional to each other. Now talking about vaporization. Vaporization will continue till the vapor pressure of the liquid is less than the pressure above the liquid surface. If the vapor pressure of the fluid or liquid is equal to or greater than the pressure above the liquid surface, then boiling will occur. That's all I wanted to talk about vapor pressure with you guys. So guys, let's move on to our second module, cavitation. Before going on to discuss cavitation, if you have not watched my previous video regarding centrifugal pump, characteristic curve and priming, please go to my description below and watch it so that you get your basic done. As we all know the working principle of centrifugal pump. When pump sucks in fluid from the sump, a negative pressure is being developed at the eye of the impeller. It's the pressure difference which is pulling the water or fluid towards the eye of the impeller. So as there is pressure difference, the atmospheric pressure which is higher pressure side, it will push the water and it will let the water flow towards the eye of the impeller due to pressure difference. As we all know it, we have discussed in our previous video. We always talk about the negative pressure at the eye of the impeller. Have you ever thought what should be the pressure at the eye of the impeller? We all know that the pressure at the eye of the impeller should be less than atmospheric pressure because there should be a pressure difference then only the atmospheric pressure will push in the water towards the eye of the impeller. So we all know that it should be less than atmospheric pressure. But what pressure should be at the eye of the impeller? A few moments later. The pressure at the eye of the impeller should be such that it should avoid cavitation. So guys, what should be the pressure at the eye of the impeller? Look guys, every fluid have got their own properties. So they have got their own vapor pressure as well. When a pump starts rotating, it develops a negative pressure at the eye of the impeller as we all know it. And we also know it that the pressure at the eye of the impeller should be less than atmospheric pressure. But guys, the pressure at the eye of the impeller should be less than atmospheric pressure. But it should not be so less that it become equal to or less than the vapor pressure of the fluid. If that happens, the boiling of the water or fluid will occur at that particular point, that is eye of the impeller. And when boiling occurs, it generates lots of bubbles. These bubbles are so dangerous that it contains enormous amount of energy. And when these bubbles comes in contact with the blade or impeller, it will explode. As it explodes, it will cause cut, erosion and cavity at the blade and surface of the pump. Whatever the damage being done because of this process at the eye of the impeller and blade and surface of the pump is known as cavitation. And cavitation is known as the depth of the pump. The performance of the pump is hugely affected by cavitation. I really hope that you understood the fundamentals of cavitation and vapor pressure. In the next video, I will be talking about NPSH that is net positive suction head. If you like this video guys, press on the like button and share with your friends as well. So guys, see you all next time with much more interesting videos like this. Wait. If you have not subscribed my channel, press on the subscribe button and press on the bell icon for future notification. See you all next time with much more interesting and technical videos like this. See you all next time. Thank you and have a nice day.